everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and we are back playing some Republic. Uh, as we last left off, we got through the library and the museum, and we are on our way to the headmaster or the overseer's office to get us the next upgrade for our Obni tool. Oh, it's interrupting. Jeez, everyone's got to get their two cents in this intro, I guess. <laughs> All right. This camera's not going. No idea what's going on, but I just want to make sure that everybody's safe. This is a book here, so. I'm oh, sorry. A cassette. Sacred cassette. Yeah, we picked that up last one. So, let's get on with getting to where we need to go. Let's change cameras here so we can get a better vantage point. Uh, so there's two unlocked doors in front of us. And door number two that we can't get into until we get that. Uh, but there's our goal, Headmaster's Office. We need the Omni tool to... Uh, version 2 to unlock that. Uh, so let's hit that camera quickly. So that's leading into there. That's the other unlocked door. And then that's the... Okay, so this balcony is a little bit bigger than I first had realized. Uh, and I can't even see in that door, so... Move over. It's a good thing all these cameras are around. Uh, come on. Come on. Okay, and we have a detention center. So we can do some stuff in here. So might as well make our way here now. Comes finally. And something's glowing there. I don't know what it is, uh, but we do have a locker. They won't find me. I, no, don't. I want you to see what's in the locker. I don't have room for anything else. All right. This is a battery charging station. All right, so it was just a charging station. I don't need it anyway. Welcome to my domain. Uh, we still have everything unlocked, so don't need anything for now. I do have an email. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, let's go. Weep is still at large. Another camera to view. Which I think I already have anyway. If the battery on the girl's phone runs low, she need only find her way to a confinement room. Ideally, she'll visit them on her own free will, and not with a Prizrak escort. Pretty hard. And it only took, uh, what, uh... Six confinement rooms, uh, eight for me to visit to know this. Uh, so thanks for the update there, Cooper. All right. Since that's finished, yes, can I get a little? Come on. A little further down here to see. Yeah, there's our level two door. Nothing of use around here, so let's start looking in here. Lots of identifying things to pick up, so... Is 
his detractors would call him an opportunist, and they would be right. But Yataro Iwasaki was given nothing less than the modest opportunity to bring an entire nation into the modern age, and he succeeded. The nerve. Is it? Did he do something good or did he not? We owe a debt of gratitude to those giants whose shoulders we've stood on. The earlier they lived, the larger their stature, and so the greater our debt. Ah, uh, so probably got a little bit of a puzzle going on here, so let's hit this one now. Uh, spin around. While the 20s roared in America, they screamed like a Siberian windstorm in Vladimir's hometown of Simbirsk. Controversial man of the people, he was, surely. And the fact that he spent time in political exile makes him that much more admirable, in my estimation. Ah, uh, so we have to go take a look at all these statues, I guess. Plato's keen eye peered further into the future than any of his Grecian contemporaries. He was, and will remain, the most vocal supporter of the classic republic and its urges. The father of Europe was besieged from all sides by pagan tyranny. And then in the year 800, he did a most remarkable thing. He held the hands of secularism and religion and married them together in what would later be called the Renaissance. All right then. So let's see the guard who's just sort of walking around. Let's get Hope ready to get in, because she'll probably need to go in fast while he's sort of doing his shifts or rounds or just stumbling around doing whatever. You know, I'm glad they stuck me in this room. I really like these statues. I like looking at them over and over again. Listen. Let's go here. Let's go for the steel. Let's yoink while well, we have the yoinking. Head back to safety. All right, and I think we didn't uh, check a couple of her carts last episode, so let's do that. Uh, we know we have another cassette. If you find a cassette, yes, we need to find a cassette player. Even though there was one in the last episode, but I'm not bitter or anything. Yeah, let's just start. This here. game began life as a simple browser title, but became a full-blown masterpiece when brought to mobile devices. Hundreds simple premise belies its complexity. Getting all the bubbles to equal 100 is easy at first, but a host of new obstacles and mental exercises will rigorously massage your synapses. After a few hours with hundreds, you'll feel like a total genius. Like me. Yeah, you're a regular Einstein there, Cooper. As you can imagine, my job here in Metamorphosis can be pretty stressful. Whenever I need to zone out, I engage my brain with Kami, which is a clever and charming puzzle game. Kami is Japanese for paper. Kami is also Japanese for God. God Why do paper, I feel then. closer to God when I play time-wasting puzzle games? I sure do lead a dynamite life. Says the guy working in the Republic. I've got to hand it to Thomas Boker, the creator of Line, 
who set out to create a game that is incredibly simple, yet infinitely complex. His words, not mine. Line is a beautiful game that doesn't rely on 3D graphics, expensive voice acting, or a ridiculously complicated story. Personally, I don't know how he does it. Does the game rely on loot boxes or season subscriptions? One of the best. Okay, so we saw Blueprint. Alright, all those are taken care of now. So now we have this puzzle to take care of. And let's see what this has to say again. We owe a debt of gratitude to those giants whose shoulders we've stood upon. The earlier they lived, the larger their stature, and so the greater our debt. So I don't know if this will be a timing thing of, you know, let's push the button and see what happens here. I didn't make that statue light up. Something's wrong. Yes, yeah, because I didn't do it right. I know that. It is difficult to write a story as it unfolds, but to wait until it's finished is to risk butchering the telling of it. I would rather strain the wrists of those taking my dictation than cause even a modicum of butchery. Narcissism, thy name is Treglazov. Her death in 1952 was a tragedy. Not just for the Argentine shirtless who idolized her, but for the anti-Peronists who celebrated her demise. Christ had a similarly divided populace to contend with, and like Ava, succumbed to sacrifice at the age of 33. A personal favorite. For those who would criticize him for his monopolistic tendencies in the early 20th century, I say, shout it from the rooftops, or barring that, hop online and voice your disdain in a chat forum. He would appreciate the irony. Yeah, not like any of that goes on nowadays. Plato's. Okay, so I think Plato is our first statue we gotta hit, so let's... Okay, so then if that's activated, uh, who is next? Well, the twin fifteen seventy is probably not it. Is not quite. Her death in nineteen nineteen. Statue didn't illuminate. What happened? I got it wrong, that's what happened. Detractors would call him Plato's keen eyes. While the twenties roar in a Okay, I'm maybe missing something here. Father of Europe was besieged. Yep, totally missed that. Okay. Let me sneak to there. And we have to wait. 
Hello, Plato, you dapper-looking fellow you. Did you happen to see a pre-cal girl we're looking for? Of course you didn't. She wouldn't appear here. On I go. That's right, nothing to see. I know what's next, so let's make our way around. I screwed up again and now I have to start from the beginning. So, one, two. Ah, that was incorrect. It's. Her death in 1950. His detractors would call him. 1835. Uh, well, switch. Statue lit up. I think we did something right. Maybe I did something right. Maybe I'm not a yet after all. Just make sure. Yeah, 1919, so we want... His detractors I think we want Yotaro first. And then back here. So, let's see if we can do this before he... Sneaking. Don't like it when hope is not sneaking. All right, who is next? Well, the twenties. Maybe eighteen seventy. Her death is. Then 1919. Plato's. So, yeah, I think we're right by the one we need to do next anyway, and hopefully, don't screw this While up the twenties again. roar. We're almost there. Funny, I don't remember the statues being lit up before, but I'm sure it's nothing. Door security provided by the Umbrella Corporation. I like how this guard doesn't realize that anything's going on. door open. He's still just looking at that. Let's get in here. It looks like that's our Omniview room. Nice. Move. Can you hack this open? Uh, I don't know. Can I? No, I can't. So let's just get to the upgrade. Hot. Sneaking, stair climbing, and button pushing action.
That's right, no point fives for us. So, let's see. New taser. That's right. And then we have this silly guard. Might as well wait for him to do his round so we can get into like yeah, we need number two to get into the headmaster's office, and that's our next objective. So let's just wait it out. Give me a chance to sip my coffee. How's everyone doing today? It's the weekend, playing some video games. Not too shabby. He'll carry off and doing his own thing while we. That's right. That's the door we want. Get through it, Hope. Cutscene. Just want to see if there's anything worth looking at. What? How's the weather in your I can't world? hear you over this helicopter. Try to guess my location? No? I'm about given up on that. It's been insufferably hot in DC. Then why are we meeting here? I'm sorry? Why not do this on the language? It isn't built yet. What? I was told construction began a month after the attack. This is the US government you're talking about. Maybe you've heard of us. Our contractors get paid twice as much to take twice as long. Unbelievable. Right this way, sir. Watch your step. So, Mr. Kragelsoff, you get your face all pixely like that. I'm looking for a fresh look. Wanting to try something new. Please, sir. Coffee. Always. I'm serious too. We're talking about coffee here. Judgment Day, the day the machines took over. He's the Imagineer. Alright, well, another... Another pin. So let's just let this play out, I guess. I remember being here as a young girl. At least I think I was. Were you not a young girl now? <gasps> Someone's coming. Well then do something, Hope. I can't make all your decisions. Come on.
surprise. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Everything is fine, sir. Fine? You were assaulted by a prisoner. And you let altered copies of the manifesto reach the jail. I have the situation under control. I'm beginning to think your definition of control is different than mine. I don't respect you because you don't wear the uniform. It's a weakness. It puts you at risk. This is an historic night for us. There can be no room for error. No room for sleep either. Then you understand why Derringer will leave the Orion. What? I'm sorry, my dear. We all appreciate the fine work you do with the kids. But you lost sight of what's most important. Cuddly puppies. Me. So, I can lead the Orion. Murray, you speak the language of diplomacy. Derringer speaks the truth. You can't handle the truth. This isn't a dismissal. Derringer will still need your help when we get from the city. Yes, sir. The mentor is an asset to our cause. I look forward to hearing our ideas going forward. Watch your step. Look out, Marie is starting to tell people to watch their step again. She's weak. I hope that's all. Where was Murray when the Prisrak attacked her? This section, outside the library. I'll look into it. It's hard to know who to trust these days. It seems we're running a loyalty deficit around here. I don't care. Good luck at Der Derringer. Me, Quinn, of course. I know. Trust you. Wait. I forgot to say hi to the pre-call under my desk. I never forgot this before. Must be old age. No chance, sir. You just got a lot on your mind tonight. Quite so. Come, young man, let's get to the surface. Derringer, quit swaggering like that. You look like an idiot. Okay, we're back in control. So, what is going on? Doormaster faces swift reprimand. Mireille Prideau found with contraband. Overseer, none of us are above the law. Miss Sade, it has been a pleasure speaking to you. But I must get up early tomorrow. Look, I'm turning off my tape recorder. This is no longer an interview. We're just two people talking. Perhaps one more glass? A short one, then. Where do you get the wine from? I thought we weren't allowed contraband from the outside world. Off the record? I have been here long enough. I'm allowed certain liberties. You receive special treatment? I know how big my cage is. At the end of the day, we are all equally inferior in the eyes of the overseer. Don't you dare print that, Miss Sid. I promise. Strictly off the record. Indeed. You just acquired a fingerprint from that glass. Normally, the overseer wouldn't be so careless as to leave a usable print. But recently, in celebration of Zager's capture, the big man poured himself a stiff drink. Time and to get moment, the underage girl guard down. Those pristine white gloves came off, and he was one of us for a day. Hooray! Gentlemen, I wish to resign. This is grossly inappropriate. You are burning books. I have seen it with my own eyes. The books I procured for you. Each book has been scanned into our servers and is now part of our digital catalog. You are merely hung up on nostalgia. You are erasing history. These books are my property. I can do with them as I please. No, 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 no. I, I cannot be a party to this. I wish to leave immediately. 
First you want to resign, now you want to leave? I assume the implication was apparent. You're not going in anyway. You cannot keep me here against my will. In fact, I can. You, like the books, are now property of the state. You will continue to fulfill your obligations to the pre-cals until I decide what to do with you. I have a few suggestions, sir. What a sicko Derringer is. Librarian, may I come in? Ah, Headmaster, welcome. Oh, ay Dios mío, who is this fierce creature? <laughs> he said, who? I knew our librarian. Who? My ancestors carved these from the amber trunks of Japanese spindle tree. I want you to have this one. Who? Modest housewarming gift, nothing more. Well, muchas gracias, señor. It's a handsome piece. Who? I shall place it here on this shelf. No, 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 no. Lend it a bit more. I promise. It's meant to be sent out in the open. Who? This way it can bring you luck. Well, it's the eyes. Yes, it's the eyes. They are a touch piercing. But that's the idea, you see. The owl is ever watchful. Who? He will protect you day and night. Ah, yes, well, it's truly, truly, how can I... Oh, you're welcome. Yes, nothing nefarious there, I would assume. Not foreshadowing at all, I would think. All right, so I think we've gotten everything we need to from here. Uh, is there? All right, we have another door on the other side here. Does it? Can I go through it? not. But I can get through that number two door at the other end of the hall. So I think it's time to make our way back out. Turn around. And we'll make a short stop into the detention area just so I can recharge the phone. But still, like I said, I gotta wait for this guy to do his stuff, so. There he goes. Nothing to hear. And then it's like he'll be staring at that statue for a long time anyway, so let's just go. Come on. You now have what you need to access the librarian's office. I know the girl is anxious to find him. As are others, I'm sure. Some stuff. See anything you like. And nope. Got everything. Thank you. any battery. I 
Okay, so we can just go. We can just go. Let's just go. There, spare C. In case anything is amiss. Yeah. Open stock again. Jeez. Uh. Hope. Come on. <laughs> Archives. Okay, it was in there, so let's just roll right in. The girl is no doubt anxious to see the librarian. Anxious. You now have what you need to access the librarian's office. I suggest you return to the library. His office door is located on the second floor. Okay, but I'm here now, so why can't I do this? Just a poozle. Probably a little bit complex. Well, if we're not meant to be here yet, we'll check it out later. Okay, another door that we couldn't see before. Can we open it? Can. Okay, let's go. Okay, I remember being at this balcony in the last episode, so. Okay, all connected. And while I'm here, I'll check his pockets. A little sneaky sneaky here. One that I didn't have I yet. That's right, you got something. Nice. That was the one that I was missing. One of my favorite designers, the mastermind behind Blueprint 3D, is at it again. This time he has players solving simple math equations while searching for numbers in a sea of digits. Sometimes the number you're looking for is right in front of your face. Speaking of faces, mine melted when I completed my first numerity puzzle. The camera zoomed out and revealed the hidden picture. Boom. Mind blown. Does it take much for you then, does it, Cooper? Got another guard here. So I guess what are you going to do?
Well, nice. You're just going to go back and forth like that, aren't you? something up here that needs to be addressed. The overseer runs this library like a wild animal preserve. Look, but don't touch. And there's a book up there as well. So let's uh, go back to the camera. Nope. Wrong. That's better. Alright. Let's My fault, I'm sure, but whatever. Don't care. Uh, come on. I got some time here, so let's quickly check that. And... I don't have to worry about being quiet, so I might as well uh, run around and do what we need to do. Bring up the threat level and just keep doing the same uh, marching back and forth that you've already done. You are certainly smart. Now get unlocked. I grab that taser if I have the ability to. And oops. Uh, before we do that, oh, five. I may not be able to. Oh, more tasers. Okay. I'll take it. Alright, got another book. Spot Nick Sweetheart and its protagonist, Kay. A dutiful man who accepts his place in the pecking order. Nothing distasteful thus far. Yet Murakami insists on criticizing the social mold that makes a man valuable at all. Effective coercion works within, but knowing so much is not in our citizens' best interests. Box this up, librarian. Yes, box it up. This game is all about throwing objects through its crystallized world in order to survive. Yes, it is as cathartic as it sounds, especially after a stressful day of fixing people's computers. But don't bother googling, smash hit, as the top queries are likely, my indie game, Rogue Cooper. Not that I would know, my access to Google was restricted before I even got here. No Google, then what's the point? Um, played smash hit, yep, it is pretty cool. Well, we've gotten ourselves cut up. Let's. Okay. okay, I see. I'm gonna come out here. So let's. Let's 
said that the librarian's office is on the second floor. So, right, that's where I need to go. No problemo. We've done this part before. I don't know where he is going, but it can't be good if he catches me. So let's come on. Let's go to the other side here. He's going to come down. Where are you going, Hope? Jeez. Thanks. You found me a good spot. Let's get in there before he sees you. Over there. Oh. I hope they can't see me here. Uh, it is not my day this run, that's for sure. If I have to get through one way, then I guess that's the way I'm getting through it. Oh, I... Well, at least we can get there now. And we'll pick up some P0 on the way, I'm sure. Uh, so where... Come on, which camera do I need to... over there. Darn. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Come on, cameras, let's go. He's just up these stairs. Librarian! Librarian! We spent six hours being quiet. Octavio have himself a little paper cut? Ooh, ooh, I didn't do anything. Can't pin this on me. No sense crying over a spelt librarian. Making it up. He's making it up? Demand some service. Want some seat over here. Who's left to clean my poop?
the girl activated a video that appears to have been recorded only moments ago. I presume it relates to the dead librarian. It's important that we determine what happened. However, she's not accustomed to witnessing violence. Let's fix that. It's difficult to anticipate how it will affect her. Yeah. So, I guess, big decision here whether we see it alone or with hope. So, she called us to escape. Hmm. Quite the conundrum. Uh, she would need to know what the truth is. Because that way, if it comes to light, at least she can bear witness. I'm going to say we're going to have to watch it with her. She's sort of in this position, and she needs to know the full extent of what's going on. Senor Octavo, just the man I want to see. Since I'm in your office. To what do I owe this pleasure? Good book. It is a classic. Not just a classic. I mean, it's actually good. It has words and form sentences, somewhat coherent. Why does this guy, Edmund Dantes? Dante. Dante, right. Why does this guy tell Maximilian that his girl is dead? For revenge. No, Maximilian's his friend. Yes, you are. You're right, of course. <laughs> Damn it, man. You, you have read this, haven't you? Do you even read? It's fun. The point is to teach a lesson. You do not know happiness unless you have been exposed to tragedy. You can't know hope without despair. I believe that is it, yes. It's kind of like the pre cows They don't know up from down, good from bad. Noob from pro. They got no perspective because they don't have a clue about the outside. Or do they? This is an intriguing intellectual exercise. And what's the point? Why'd you give the kids the poison manifesto? I, I did not. What are you doing in that hidden room downstairs? Oh my god, he knows! I think we can't hear that god awful music bleeding through the walls. I, 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 I just read and the reading Sega's trash! I, I have seen it, yes, but I would never act on it. I'm not spying against us. No, you really are not going to escape, no, didn't you? I, uh, oh. Let's see this little owl friend I got. Clean up on aisle five. I can't watch this anymore. The video just ended and it was getting good. <laughs> and we're back. So Derringer's been busy. So, Senor Octavo? Un momento. Buenos dias. Are you Senor Octavo? Si, I am Luis Octavo, yes. My name's Quinn Derringer. My employer contacted me. <laughs> yes, of course. The mystery man who pays me twice what I ask. Did he receive the books yet? Has he burnt them yet? And he thanks you. He'd like to thank you personally. Of course. Tell him to come in at any time. He's not in Buenos Aires. Is your passport in order? <laughs> My passport? What is this about? My employer has some more work for you. Mystery man? What sort of work? That's the mystery. Where would I go? Language. Impossible. I cannot close my shop. My employer thinks you can. He'll pay whatever you ask. He doesn't even know my price. But he knows you have one. All the money's in the world. You got a number in your head, senor? I do. Good. Go. Where's your passport at? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. How long will I be gone? Just a few days. I promise. And then double it. So, very hard to 
tension area? No. We're gonna get in trouble, Weep. No, we're not. He would never turn us over to Mireille. He might if he caught us smoking his cigarettes. This is some funny looking tobacco. <gasps> Don't drag on it so long. That's good stuff. How do you know about this stuff? I read a book. One of Senor Octavo's books? No, it was the manifesto. He has a whole chapter dedicated to smoking. <laughs> You're making fun of me. <clears throat> what the hell's up with that bird? He wants a drag too. Alright, well, we got a lot of some stuff to pick up here. Uh, where's the map file? Let's go back outside anyway. Uh, okay, so let's... I don't know if I agree with your decision to show the girl that horrifying video. Still, maybe it's best she knows the whole truth. My reasoning as well. Please, let's just get. Hmm. I'll hold on to this. Quiet for now. And still nothing. Right, so the cassettes. If you find a cassette, yes, I know. And is it? It's not updating our marker at all. So. We'll just go and see if we can collect any more stuff around here. And then I guess maybe head back downstairs. Reporting. Situation is clear. That sounded that sounded close, but I think it was at the floor below us, so. No need to hurry or panic. Dear Senor Octavo, Thank you so very much for giving me a copy of Labyrinths by Borgia. Starring David Bowie. Each of the stories was fascinating. I especially enjoyed the one called The Library of Babel. It made me think of you, surrounded by all those books, overwhelmed with the infinite number of ideas they contain, and left wondering which books contain the truth and which are false. Is it true you knew Borgia and discussed literature with him? If so, I am positively envious. Thank you again for the stimulating read. Your friend, 390H. This may come in handy. Uh, okay, one more book. Let's switch her back to that. Pain is best read as a comedian librarian. For pain, constitutions come from rights, charters create chaos, and monarchs require oversight against corruption from all whose interests fall short of the state's well-being. We are beyond constitutions, charters, even monarchs. We are communication itself. These so-called rights of man must not radicalize anyone into thinking otherwise. I think I'm thinking otherwise. 
All right, let's uh, hit the stairs, see what our next objective is going to be, and probably call it uh, an episode. That's a lie. Can't see me here. All right. So first floor. That's our next objective is to go down there. Uh, I believe that's up on the number five door. Can't get in there. There's a number two, but that just connects the library to the museum. We don't really need to open it. Uh, but that's on the other side of the fountain. So. Uh, like I had mentioned, we are going to call it here, and we'll pick it up in the next episode. Uh, if you haven't seen my other episodes of Republic, go watch them. And other than that, we'll return to Hope in the next episode. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.